Hello everybody. Today in standard 7th subject social science we are going to learn the first lesson of semester 2 SS subject textbook in that the name of the first lesson is Gujarat in the medieval age. Previously in the first semester we have studied about medieval age and different two big state was the name of that lesson and few more other lessons from history in this semester the first lesson which regards to particularly one state gujarat in that during the medieval age which dynasties ruled over gujarat and how gujarat developed and prosperous in the <coughs> administration of various kings so let us start today's lesson chapter 1 gujarat in the medieval age in that the key points of this lesson let us discuss which will be very helpful to you in understanding the content as well as to understand the questions in exercise of textbook as well as of workbook look at the first point in the medieval age from 746 AD to 1304 AD, the Chaura dynasty, Solanki dynasty and Vagela dynasty ruled over Gujarat. So first of all, which years are considered as medieval age? That is mentioned that from 746 AD, AD means Anno Domini, to 1304 AD. During that time period, there were different dynasties that ruled in Gujarat and they are named as Chauda dynasty, Solanki dynasty and Vagela dynasty. During the reign of during the reign the capital of king capital of kingdom was Anhilpur Patan which was later known as Anhilwad Patan. During the medieval age time there were various dynasties that ruled and in that the capital of Gujarat was Anhilpur Patan. Later, the name was changed to Anhilwad Patan. Now, let us see in detail about the capital of Gujarat. Vanra Chauda built a new city on the bank of river Saraswati. He named the new city as Anhilwad Patan after the name of his best friend Anhil Barwad, who helped him to regain his father's lost kingdom. Vanra Chauda, who was one of the successful leader or king of Chauda dynasty, who established a new city near the bank of river Saraswati and the name was Anhilwad Patan and this name was kept as Vanra Chauda's friend, one of his friend Anhil Barwad helped him to regain his father's lost kingdom and they established the city near the river Saraswati and that is why the name was kept Anhilwad Patan. Murlat Solanki, Bhimdev, Sidraj Jaisi and Kumar Pal were the great rulers of Solanki dynasty. After Chauda dynasty, in the Solanki dynasty, there were few very dominant leaders or kings who ruled in Solanki dynasty. They are named as Mullar Solanki, Bhimdev Solanki, Sidraj Jaisi and Kumarpal. The famous scholar Kalikal Sarvagnya, Hamchandra Charya wrote Siddhem Sabdanu Shashan, the famous book on grammar during the reign of Sidraj Jaisi. This book was kept on the back of an elephant and a procession was carried out in the city to pay respect to the scholarly work. We all have heard about Hamchandracharya in the first semester <coughs> in the history part in that. We understood that Siddhem Sabdanushashan, one of the richest grammar book 
in terms of knowledge which was written by hemchandra acharya and during that time the king of gujarat was sidraj jaisi who was fond of spreading the knowledge or education in the welfare of people so he understood the importance of siddhan sabdanu shasan and he carried out a procession and the book was carried out on the back of an elephant throughout the city and to respect this scholarly work and to make aware about the book and to inspire the people to learn from this book which was based on the grammar and related to sanskrit language the confluence of non violence ahimsa prosperity means lakshmi wealth and education means saraswati was seen in the anhil ward pattern during the rule of kumarpal the people of the capital anhil ward pattern were full of knowledge they were healthy and wealthy during the time period of kumarpal queen udaymati constructed rani ki vau in anhil ward pattern for the welfare of the people during that time staff wells were constructed so that the travelers can rest for some time and they can drink pure water so udaymati constructed queen udaymati constructed rani ki vau queen mother rajmata minal devi got pilgrim text waved off on her suggestion sidraj jaisi constructed malau lake in dolka and munsar lake in viramgam not only kings but queens were also very far sighted and they had done great work for the welfare of the people in that queen minal devi banned the taxes on pilgrim places and on her suggestion sidra jc built lakes like malau lake in dolka and munsar lake in viramga after that karandev wagela who was the last ruler of wagela dynasty during his time period alauddin khilji invaded during the time of karande wagela alauddin khilji invaded gujarat means he attacked gujarat in the war with alauddin khilji karande wagela was defeated as a result the rajput rule in anhilwad patan came to an end and after that shah sultan ahmed shah founded a new city on the bank of river saras uh, sabarmati and it was named as ahmedabad as it was constructed by ahmed shah so the name was given ahmedabad and it was in the year of 1411 ad during the sol during the solanki period mandal was one of the largest unit of administration the administration of the kingdom was carried out by a group of minister and that group of minister was named as mandal the sub section of mandal was called panthak kach mandal saurashtra mandal khetak or kheda mandal lat mandal or metpat mandal were the major mandals in those time as we are having classification of different states different districts different talukas in the same way the lower level administration was carried out by a mandal and the specific examples are also given like kach mandal saurashtra mandal kheda mandal lat mandal and metpat mandal the significance among the architectural monuments of the medieval age in gujarat were the sun temple in modera and vimla vasahi temple at abu constructed in the 11th century along with education along with the welfare of the people there were great monuments constructed by various kings during the medieval age in gujarat
and the major examples are the sun temple of modera and the vimla vasahi temple of abu rudra mahalaya was constructed in 12th century and renovation jirnodar of somnath temple and dirasara dilavara were the architectural work in the 13th century the kirti toran of vadnagar is very famous along with the vimla vasai temple of abu then dirasara of dilavara kirti toran kirti toran of vadnagar was also very famous due to the splendid architectural work done on that monument handwritten manuscripts of this era were written on 2 3 feet long and 2 3 inches broad tadpatras a lot of literary work on the jainism like dvaishray were written during the solanki period and during the sultanate and mughal period the famous architectural work of sarkez rozo and siddhi sayed jali were constructed so in that we have seen how gujarat developed during the medieval time period in that in various fields not only in architectural not only in terms of pilgrim places not only in terms of the profession or business or carried out by the people but along with the literature there were many aspects of gujarat helped by various kings to be rich in terms of knowledge wealth health everything so i hope you must have understood about this lesson and the prosperity of gujarat during that time so thank you very much